Hello, Barmy Badger Army. Welcome to the show and welcome to our guest speaker today. We have paranormal expert, Sue. It's good to see you. Right, how are you doing, Sue? So we've been threatening this since last summer and we've finally managed to get Susan down and have a good old chat with her about paranormal and her experiences. This is really cool. First time ever on the channel that we got a legitimately awesome paranormal expert on the show. So it's always good fun. So what would you like to talk about in today's special episode, um, Sue? Angels. Angels, this can be interesting. So let's see. So I don't know much about angels. So you're going to tell me much about angels that are in and around the area and they're going to be help you. Yeah. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that then, Sue. Uh, when I was 13, I was in my mother's car and um, for some unknown reason, I wanted to open the door as I was going around a corner. Okay. In her car, going about 30 miles an hour. Right. And instead of, I wanted to lock the car door, but I, I opened it by accident. Right, okay. And it pulled me out yeah. onto the road and I skidded along the road and as I was skidding on my back I heard this voice that right. shouted out hold your head up hold your head up <gasps> really? hold your head okay. up three times yeah it was a man's voice okay. and um, what sort of voice was it was it a deep voice yeah, deep okay yeah. interesting uh, a deep man's voice okay and I had to lift my head up obviously and as I slid my head ended up by the curb uh, and I think if I'd have left just let myself fall and slide, I would probably knock myself out. Okay. And buses were going along there quite a lot. So right. At the time, I could have been run over by a bus or anything. It okay. Was quite, quite a busy road. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, I how? Didn't think that was odd. Yeah, I bet you didn't think that was odd as a no, child. So how old were you when that happened? Thirteen. Thirteen. So do you think as a child you were more in tune and things like that towards yes. it? Yeah? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, more open. Yeah. More open to it all. But and uh, how did that make you feel? Protected. At the time? Protected. So you, yeah. weren't, you didn't feel threatened or no. anything like that? No. Okay. No. Interesting. Mm. So looking back on that experience now as a... Uh, adult, mm. how did that make you feel now, oh. and how has it changed your life? Um, for a long while, I didn't really think much about it till I reached in my forties. Okay. And I started to feel more spiritual towards things and people, and more in tune with okay. people's feelings and how they felt within uh, just reading them without okay. even any expression or voice or talking, I know what they were sort of feeling. You know, because we've been quite friends for quite a long time, really, uh, so it's really good to have you on the show, and I've always known you as quite a spiritual, quite an open, friendly person, sort of a read-the-book kind of guy. Yeah. Um, that's really interesting, I've though, so that... Well. You've read books on it, but you know what yeah. I mean? You're very open, you're very sort of um, what I would call spiritual and interesting. Yeah. And... And if you told me, if anyone else told me these sort of things, I would be like, oh, are you sure? Yeah. But with this, I really am quite intrigued and I, I believe you, you know. Mm. So, loads, loads of things. Yeah. Happen. Loads of things. Did you try, little, yeah, did you know? try and identify what sort of angel it was? Is that a thing? Did you look um, it up and read uh, on it? No, uh, I just, um, now I'm more into Archangel Michael. Okay. Um, because I do feel that he's there to protect everybody. Right. And if you ask him to come into your life, he will be there. And okay. He will always help you out when you're, right. you're frightened or you, you're not sure about things going on in your life. He will be there to protect you. Okay. Yeah. So... Did you read up on that? Do you think no. that the angel that visited you was Archangel Michael? Maybe, yeah. Maybe, okay. Yeah. Really? Okay, this yeah. is interesting. Is Archangel Michael part of the Bible? What's some background on Archangel I think he was Michael? A saint. He's been known as the Saint Michael, but more Archangel Michael is just something that just came into, into my life when I was in my 40s. It just okay. got more and more, and the more I believed in it, the more things happened you know, oh, about okay. angels in general. So do you think as a child when you're more open to these things more paranormal mm. or interesting happens? Yeah. But do you think it's things. yeah, but do you think it's the same as when you're an adult if you leave yourself open to the experiences they happen? Yeah, I think so. But you you know, things bad things can happen to people. Okay. But, um you know, I 
know, things have happened to me in the past, but at that time I wasn't really aware of the spiritual side of anybody. I did believe at the time, when I was left on my, alone with bringing up four children, that I was protected by my grandfather. Okay. For a long, uh, long while. So then, give me some subtext on that. Why did you think that then? Um, because if anything went wrong in the house, maybe DIY, he was a DIY. Okay, he was a DIY expert. Okay, that's interesting. Things went wrong with my washing machine or building things in, around the house in the garden. I knew how to do them automatically. I really? Them. And if I needed tools or anything like that, they just seemed to be there. In okay. The shed. When I needed something, I'd right. it straight away. Really? Do you think he was guiding you towards those yes. tools then? That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I did speak to a, a clairvoyant and say to him, said to him, could you ask my granddad? I don't need his help now as I've got older, the children have got older. I don't really need his help. And he went, you've just told him yourself. And he really? explained to me what he looked like, how he described everything about him, where he used to work, everything. And uh, yeah, that was my dad, my oh, granddad. Oh, that's, really, that's a really touching story, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's a really touching story. Yeah. So you think, is that deep rooted in Christianity, or do you believe it's something else more spiritual, more open to that? More spiritual. Thing. More spiritual. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, I do believe in God. I know there's a God there. Yeah. But uh, I used to go to church. Don't go to church now. Why is that then? Do you think that you don't need to? No, I don't need to. It because your be... faith is there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. a lot of people are like that now, aren't they? Where, yeah, I think so. Yeah, where like you don't really need to go to church, but your church is your home. Yeah. And I think that's Within a yourself. lot of things. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. So wherever yeah. you have you laid your you. hat, you take it with you. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. So in a good way. Okay, that's really interesting, Sue. So um, what else would you like to say about angels? I just think you should ask them into your life. Really, yeah. And you should really, all right, you may not be able to see them, but just have faith that they are there. That's really interesting, uh, you know. And you've read books on this, you've oh, had things. Of books. Uh, can you tell some of the guys some of the books you've read? I've just so read that. Carl Gray, um, I've lo read a lot of clairvoyant books, Sally Morgan, um, Colin Fry. Uh, Colin and Fry. A lot of angel books that I've bought in the past. Um, Lorna Byrne, uh, loads, loads. Okay. Just, just interesting, though. Okay, well, that's an interesting little fact, so I really love that. That's really interesting. Life after death. Yeah. Uh, reincarnation. All sorts. Oh, that's really cool. I love that. I mean, my experiences with the paranormal are slightly different, and we'll get into that another time. Mm. But uh, thank you for joining me on the show, Sue. You're and uh, I look forward to more episodes with you in the future, hopefully. Yeah. Comment couple below. More stories. A couple more good. stories next week, hopefully. It'll be yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Fingers crossed we can pull that off. But thank you very much for joining me about this, Susan. And uh, it's been re who's this Jeff fellow? The Badger, the badger here. Sorry, Badger. Indeed, yeah. Badger, Badger. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you very much for joining me, Sue. It's been great stuff, and I really loved having you on the show and talking about your touching experiences. And it's really interesting how it's changed your life. Yeah. Can you tell people about how these experiences have changed your life? Huh? How, have they, how have they changed your life, these experiences? Completely, completely changed my life. I know there's an energy there now. I know that um, they are watching us all the time. People that you've lost, they're always around you. When you think of them, they're there. If you're in trouble or anything like that, just think of them. And, and ask the angels and they'll they'll help. Oh, that's and, really and it interesting. it may be in some way that you haven't even thought of. Oh, that's just, really interesting. Oh, thanks very much for having you on the show, Sue. It's very kind of you. And uh, let me know some of your experiences in the comments below. And of course, hopefully we'll get Sue on the show in future episodes. Bye for now, Barmy Badger Army. See you soon. <laughs> Say bye, Sue. Bye. <laughs> thanks very much, bye, everyone. Badger. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye, everyone. Thanks. <laughs>